Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great Halloween month so far. I have been a little bit busy, however I wanted to get this video up because I was invited to do a collaboration with Smarter Beauty aka Jess and I'm new to her channel but she's very sweet. I love all her elf stuff. I love, I just like will watch video after video on all her elf hauls but uh, <laughs> uh, she's great to, to check out. I'll put her link below but she had this great idea to do fall lip favorites and I just wanted to jump on that because fall is definitely my favorite, favorite season and uh, I love the changes in colors and I love, you know, the richness that it brings. So I'm going to just grab and go. I have, I think, probably about 10 or so but I'm going to do it quickly because I want to swatch the colors for you so you can see. And I have my first lip color on. So this is actually a lip liner. And I have a little bit of lip balm, just some Bruce Bees on before I applied this. Uh, this is the Jordana Quick Liner Lips in Wild... Oh, there's some crazy sun happening there. This is in Wild Orchard. Uh, Orchid, sorry, not Orchard. And uh, it's just like a berry-toned plum kind of shade. And uh, it's it's really nice. It's a, not too bold, but it's um, it does have a nice fuchsia kind of-esque pop of color. And I like that. Alright, so on my lips now I have the uh, Jordana Deep Purple. It's just their regular pencil um, lip liner. And I've been really happy with this shade. I really like how rich it is. It's a nice uh, kind of berry tone. And berry tone stuff is my thing for fall. So uh, <laughs> I really like this. It's not too bold. I feel like I can actually still wear this out in the daytime and feel completely comfortable. Plus it's a lip liner so it kind of holds on a little bit better um, than a lipstick. I just make sure that I've got some well moisturized lips beforehand. So this is the next shade. It is uh, number five in the Body Shop Delipious. I don't know if this is a product that is still carried at the Body Shop but uh, I hope so because I really like these. These are like sheer lipsticks and they're very wearable. You can see it looks really dark in the tube but it comes out this really pretty berry shade and it's really comfortable. It's kind of like a lipstick lip balm together. So I talked about this product in my last video and this is the Essence Stay With Me Lip Matte Cream. Uh, this is in red. Uh, it's called Silky Red number four. It's a kapow color. It really is. Uh, but I really like this shade with the colors changing and the season changing and you know wrapping up in scarves and, and whatnot. So this is a very vibrant red. Very, very vibrant, but I love it. I know, I just did a, a red lip, but this is another red lip, and especially this product that I've been loving. This is the e.l.f. matte lip color. It's like a retractable um, pencil lipstick sort of combo. I really like this. It's really convenient and it goes on quite smooth and I feel like I don't have to be as careful kind of lining my lips with with um, the color as I do with this lip cream. So that's that's a little con I guess about this. You got to be careful when you put it on. But the the shade is in rich red and it's more of a it's a cooler version than that really fire engine red. So it's got a hint a hint of berry to it, which is why I love it. So this lip color is uh, captivating. It's from e.l.f. It's from the Dollar Lipstick line. I had to put mine in a pot because I broke the lipstick, <laughs> but it's got that kind of terracotta pumpkin-y shade and it just goes great with nature, Halloween, you know, the festive colors of fall. and. I didn't think I was going to like this color because it's orange, but it, it's actually very flattering on me and I'm happy to wear it because I feel it gives me a little pep, <laughs> but uh, it's not as strong as like a red, so I've been loving this shade and it's a buck. So I've kept most of my picks, um, kind of a lower price range, drugstore-ish pricing. However, there is one product that's higher end that I really want to include in this because I just, I'm loving it and it was gifted to me. And it is the Urban Decay Lip Love Honey Infused Lip Therapy and it's in Stung and 
it's it looks really dark in the tube, but it goes on quite quite sheer, and it's just a very nice soothing lip gloss. It's not too it's not sticky at all actually, and uh, it's just it gives a little hint a little hint of that berry tone I keep mentioning, but um, it's very nice. It smells like honey. It's a very nice floral honey kind of scent. So yeah, I've been using this lots. I really like it. It's it's soothing to lips, so it kind of prevents lips from getting too dry and like that. And it goes great on top of you know the lip liners that I already showed. So I'm loving it. So this is a Beauty Rush lip gloss by Victoria's Secret. Uh, I love this stuff and I don't know what the shade is. I want to know so badly because I want to buy another one of these. You can see I'm like, you know, getting close to running out. The container's all, you know, mangled. But I love this shade. It's like a red with little bits of um, gold flecks in it. Hopefully you can see that. So if one of you guys know what, what shade this actually is, Please tell me, because I I'm gonna cry when I run out of this. It smells so good. Um, it's pretty smooth. It's not too sticky. A little heavier than the honey one, but it, I love this one. I love it. It it just the smell. I think it's the smell. It makes me feel festive. <laughs> I don't know why. It's a nice warm vanilla yumminess smell. <laughs> so this is probably the only kind of pink shade that I'm really rocking uh, around this time of year, but it is uh, it is something I could pull off anytime. I think all these lip colors really, it's lipstick. You can wear it whatever time of year you want, but uh, this one in particular, it's number 10 from the Body Shop. It's called Heather, I think. I could be wrong, but it's a mauvey pink, so it's, it's got that little berry kick to it. So the last product I want to talk about is actually a lip care product, and this is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. It's a sugar scrub, and I just bought this because I thought, eh, I'm just going to try it and just see. There was really good reviews on it, and uh, I think everyone should buy this. <laughs> it is far superior to a handmade like DIY um, sugar scrub, and I really like the fact that it's in a stick, and it's not a really soft, like mushy stick. It's, you know, it's there, and you can scrub. I've used probably... I haven't used half, but I've used a good amount of it, and around this time of year, when it starts to get a little bit colder, you know, I don't know what it is if we're drinking more coffee or more hot drinks, I tend to drink a little less water, therefore my lips get a little dry, and so this, uh, this helps kind of buff off the, the dead skin, and also kind of invigorate the lips, and I was using this in between each swatch of the lipsticks that I showed you, or lip colors that I showed you today, and, um, I think it's three dollars. Three dollars maybe for this, but it's definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. I wish I had bought more because I know the winter season is only going to bring more dry lips. But uh, anyways, I really, really recommend this. The only time I would say you you probably don't want to use this if you have some severely chapped lips. Just because it is still, you know, gran granules of sugar and you don't want to make your lips bleed or anything. Something like Carmex or like a medicated lip treatment would be better for that, but for just like an everyday kind of like scuffing of the lips, this stuff is awesome. Awesome. And I seriously regret not getting more than one. So those are my picks for fall. Tell me what yours are in the comments because I'm always open to trying new, new lip brands and uh, new lip products, colors, all that good stuff. I also want to say thank you to Jess again from Smarter Beauty. Her link is in the down bar. Check her out. Uh, for inviting me to do this collaboration. It was a great idea and it's something I should definitely do more often. And I haven't seen Jess's video yet, so I don't know what she's even going to mention. Maybe we mentioned a couple of the same things. Who knows? So, um, yeah, I guess that's all. Till next time, happy Halloween. I will see you soon. Bye.